Right, in this next video, what I'm going to do is to get this wall detail over here, over here, that wall detail, and that door in place. Um, where I'm going to do that? Well, I've got this diagram over here, um, and I can get the measurements for these walls straight off this diagram, um, and just to double them. All right, so I've got the inside of the wall, and I've got this little piece of wall sticking over there. I come over here, come to the inside of my wall, place that measurement that I just got off there, place it down and double it. Put a little mark there. Um, go back over here. I'm going to measure off the length between the door and that. There's the door distance. Okay, I need to double that when I come over here. Take that, place it down there, double it. Knock that in there. Okay, and I can straight away draw in some lines going right the way up to the top over here. So we're, there we go, right the way up to the top where the ceiling is going to be. Actually, that's uh, where the ceiling is going to be is over here. Sorry, over there. That's where we're going to. Not. Actually, yes, that'll go right up to the top there. Sorry. There we go. Right up to the top. There's that little gap in the wall. We need that distance over here now, from there to where the wall is going to be. Take that, place that down, multiply it by two, place that over there, and draw a line going to the top again. And there it is. Um, and I can do another little thing over here. The thickness of the wall. Remember, we said that it's a half brick wall, which is 110 millimeters. Um, let's just find that information for the, the wall. 110 millimeters, and that works out to 4.4 millimeters. I can take that measurement, um, 4.4 millimeters, and place that over here and I can draw in that wall. All right, there's that wall over there. Um, right, that wall, uh, it needs to continue through over here down to the foundation. Right, there it is, it goes all the way down to the foundation. There it is, okay. And I need to draw in the foundation. Now the foundation for this is going to be very slightly different as well. Um, it says that I've got a foundation of 500 millimeters, 500 divided by my 25 is going to be 20 millimeters. Okay, 20 millimeters, that means that on either side of the center mark of this, I need 10 millimeters. So just find your center very quickly. There we go. Measure off your center and get yourself 10 millimeters on either side of that. There we go. 10 millimeters there, 10 millimeters there. Draw two construction lines over there and over there. The thickness of that foundation is going to be the same as the thickness of your original foundations, which you've got on either side over there. Draw those lines coming down over there down over there, straight away draw a couple of little triangles in there and just a few little dots just to make it look like concrete. Right, once I've got that, um, uh, I can see uh, over here, uh, you can see that I've got a door frame over there, so I'm going to be able to see the inside of a door. Now a door has got a certain height, doesn't it? So I need to draw in that height onto this thing. Where am I going to get that information from? Well, I go to my window and door schedule. And that's over here. And it tells me the height of my doors. It says that it's uh, 2,100, which is 84 millimeters in height. That's going to be very important for all of your windows and all of your doors. Measure off 84 millimeters in height. Come over here to the top of the slab measure off that height and I'm going to draw a construction line just going right the way across over here 
because that information is going to be needed over there, over there, over there, and there's another door that's going to come in over here. Right, um, let's uh, actually draw in a door frame so that you can see, uh, you can see this door frame over here. Uh, let's just show you that. There's that door frame which is going to be there. They haven't uh, left that door open, otherwise we'd be seeing someone in the toilet. Um, and uh, let's have a look at that. Let's just have a look. There's my bathroom door. You can see the toilet that I would be able to see if that door was open. Uh, luckily, we don't need to see the toilet. Um, right, let's draw in this door frame in over here. Where am I going to get that information as to where that door frame is going? Well, I take that measurement over there to the edge of the wall over there and I'm going to knock that in and double it. I take the door width of this door that over there from there to there. Note that I'm measuring on the in, inside um, of the walls not uh, not the door frame over there. I'm measuring from where the walls are we need that measurement first, so I'll take that, take that, double it, place it over there, and I'm going to draw in lines that are going to go to the top over here, showing my door frame there, over there, up to the height of the door. All right, let's draw that in. Okay, the door frame. Uh, it's uh, um, a 25 millimeter door, f door frame, which is about a one millimeter gap over here. Okay, one or two millimeters. There we go. Let's just measure that off. Line going up to the top there. Over here. Pull that in. And go over there, measure that in. There we go, there's my door frame. Uh, you don't need to put any door handles on or anything silly like that. Right, I need to draw in the detail of the door over here. So find the center there down that over there and that over there and that over there there we go that is the door story that you need to put in there and we need to draw in the line coming down there showing me the door. Right, okay, that's detail for all of that. Um, we need to put in some windows over here. Um, you'll see that over here, this little gap over here, looking through, I can see that window over there. I know what the height of that window is. I can draw that in straight away. There it is. Um, just going to do some construction lines going across there a little bit. Um, what is the distance from the edge of that window? Well, there it is, from there to there. I come along here, I'm going to measure off where the edge of that window is. Okay, I'm just going to draw in construction lines, the idea of where the edge of that window is. There it is, okay. You don't need to draw that line in if you don't want, but it is important in order to get the information about uh, that window. Um, what window are we drawing? You'll see over here that it says that we've got window two that we need to draw, okay? Uh, window two, I need to get the information about window two, and it says that it is a 500 millimeter distance over there. Do uh, You need to divide that by your 25. And, uh,
that's going to give me a 20 millimeter gap over there. So I move over here, measure off 20 millimeters. And I can draw that measurement over there of 20 millimeters over there. Uh, why do I need that? Well, I need to show that detail of this window frame in here. It also tells me that this window from the top down to the bottom of it is 1,500 divided by 25 is equal to 60 millimeters. There I go. Measure off 60 millimeters from the top of the window coming down. There we go. I can draw a little construction line going across there. And I can draw in that nice and dark over there. Um, I can draw in a line going up over there. I need to measure off uh, one millimeter over there. And across there. I need to draw in one millimeter over there. And that going across there. Um, I need to measure down from there and moving in from there the one millimeter over there oops let's just get that in place there we go i need to uh, draw in this little part over here which is a, a square okay if i just draw across here i can draw a 45 degree line going up There, going up to the construction line over there, draw a line coming across. There's the top of the window and that story over there. Right, once you've got that, um, you should also have it on the other side. Um, right, this thing said that I had a uh, 40 millimeters, is that right? 40, uh, sorry, it would be 80 millimeters going across. 80 millimeters going across over there, is that right? No, I'm not getting that. Let's just see what I've got here. Uh, it is definitely window two, isn't it? Okay, take this measurement over here that we measured off nicely. That's it, take that. Um, go to that point over there, measure that off over there. There, now oh, that's interesting. I made a mistake somewhere. Um, just need to check a distance over here for this wall. I think this wall might be in the wrong place, or that wall might be in the wrong place. I um, should not be able to see the edge of that window if it is window two. Hmm, okay. I'm not going to get too concerned about this. You've seen how to draw that little piece of the window over there. There should be another little piece stuck in over here. Um, I'm just going to do that very quickly. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go, going over there. And then there are some little lines that you need to draw in showing um, showing the opening of the window. Um, how do we do that? Well, I should come over here, a little construction line going over there. I need to find the center of this line over here. How do I do that? Let's take a line going like that. Take a line going like that, getting me the center of this over here. Take a line going across there. Measure that going from there. Now, you don't need to put in lines except for this little piece over here. Long dash, short dash over there. And the same story over here. Long dash, short dash over there. Just to show where the center of the window is. I mean, the opening of the window. Same story over here. I'm going to just do that. And there we go. There are those openings to the windows. Um, right, once we've done that, all we need to do is to do the hatching on this and to put in the doors and the lintels on these things, uh, doors and windows over here. Right, I'll do that in the next video.